Award, the Orville Rose Spirit and Service Award, will be given to a student who embodies Orville's dedication to service and demonstrates a strong work ethic. Orville believed and lived by service, volunteering, kindness, and helping others. I am proud to present this year's Orville Roth Spirit of Service Award to Helen Yancey. Oh, yeah. Uh, there are seven students, and these I will read up. It's uh, when I raise your name, Darcy. 
joining the stage the new principal of Silverton High School, Sione Thompson.
I think we all have a good chance of getting through whatever comes our way next. Thank you all for listening, and now Helen Yancey has some words to share. How can I sum up middle school? For me, middle school was a lot of things. It was a chance for me to branch out and discover new talents. It was, of course, a time of great academic growth. It was three years of near coronaries over getting anything less than a 90% on an assignment with one of those years spent attempting to teach myself to chill out. A few days went by in which my head wasn't swirling with magical fantasies featuring me, the brave heroine, learning magic instead of solving equations. All this and more was prominent in my life during my time at SMS. But I think, above all else, middle school was about coming to know thyself. It was a wild journey of self-discovery, filled with plenty of teen angst and identity crises. Day after day, I struggled with the feeling of being pulled in a thousand different directions because of all my interests and hopes for my future. I spent a lot of time wondering and worrying about how I was perceived by those around me. Did people think I was annoying or insufferable or impatient? Was I considered a kind person? And now, after three years, I can say one thing with absolute certainty. I am more confused than I was to begin with. <laughs> Over time, though, I have come to accept and appreciate that confusion as a part of who I am right now. Lately, I've been thinking about the well-known phrase, just be yourself. It's three words most people are probably so sick and tired of hearing, and believe me, I get it. The advice is well-intended. If you don't pretend to be someone you're not, you'll attract the right people and be happy knowing that those people like you for you. If you do pretend to be someone you're not, you'll attract the wrong people, and I hate to break it to you, but you'll be living a complete lie as well. Here's the dilemma. How can you be yourself when you're not really sure who you are? Adolescence is a hotbed of questioning and unpredictability. That being said, I seriously doubt any 8th grade grad here tonight has themselves completely figured out. And nor should we feel like that's where we need to be at this point, because after all, some of the greatest revelations occur in between places. That's why I feel like just be yourself should be rephrased to just be genuine. Being genuine is not being perfect. It's not being everyone's best friend at all times. It's about being real and honest and kind as you navigate your way through the world. Really, it's about trying your best to be a decent human being. And while you're at it, you might as well get your hands dirty and do some more searching within yourself. Don't be afraid to be curious and ponder mysteries, ask questions, learn to be vulnerable with yourself. I don't mean to make any of that sound easy, because it's not. It can be utterly terrifying. I'm only just starting to get the hang of it. Don't lose heart, though. That's the key. So, students of the Silverton Middle School Class of 2021, I implore each of you to go forth now with big dreams in your head and big hopes in your heart. Be brave, be genuine, always reach for the sun. Know that great opportunities are coming with high school and beyond, and most of all, know that there is no one else in this universe that is quite like you. Thank you. Christian, uh, we will now begin the presentation of certificates. We'll be, we'll be, we will be celebrating as groups, so please wait until all names are read before you apply. And we are going to start out with Mrs. Zerger's PG.
present the promoting A3 class from Mrs. Searchers AG. Destiny Rangora, Lee Brister, Jose Enriquez, Arturo Torres, Theon Lissol, Bella Lilich, Leo Macias, Marisol Martinez, Tony Ortiz Martinez, Cesar Perez, Brooklyn Pfeiffer, Owen Walsh, Ben Boucher, Cordelia Bay, and Carlo Borges.
you proudly present the promoting eighth grade class from Mrs. Ross's AG. Alexis Arango. Kansas Brister. Amelia Broyhill. Alexis Puffo. Jeremiah Coppage. Colton Ike. Devin Ford. Gabrielle Jungworth. Lincoln Marshall. Colleen McElfresh. Wyatt Postoy. Lily Reed. Alina Sharp. Elisha Short. Ryan Sims.
Hey, so audience members, I present to you the 8th graders who are now freshmen. 